And the inspiration for those, for those uh, the Instagram and the Hipstamatic is none other than the Holga 120S. Quite possibly the cheapest, ugliest camera ever designed and built ever in the history of the planet, with the exception of those little spy cameras that you used to be able to buy in the back of um, comic books. This camera has a one lens. Obviously, it's an optical lens, which means, well, it's kind of self-explanatory. It um, has one shutter speed, has one aperture, has four focus settings. We have, can you see those? Mm -hmm. We have mountains. We have a group of seven people. We have uh, a family with one child. And we have a single portrait, which means, of course, if you have a family with three children, you have to set it somewhere in the middle, and if you want to take a photograph of a bus, it needs to be somewhere between a group of seven and a mountain, so somewhere in there, somewhere. Um, no flash, no focus, no nothing. It's, um, well, looks like that on the inside. There's nothing to it. It's the most low-tech piece of equipment ever in the history of the planet. So once the film is rolled onto our take-up spool, you'll see that there's a lot of extra play. So what you need to do is you need to grab a little strip of cardboard, and we need to, rather than um, letting the camera or the film unspool, we just slip some cardboard underneath to uh, make it, give it a little more um, tension. That's our, that's, our, that's our high tech tension adjustment right there. And then we keep turning until we get the arrows. And we put the back on. You have to make sure you actually put the back on the right way because it will go on upside down. Yeah, I see you're, you're one person. Well, one person in a bit. Just like that. Done. So, here's our scan. And what we have to do is we have to we're picture 210 on the top there. You can see that. So we need to quit this version of flex color. And then we open up this version of flex color so that we can scan, so that we can process the file in the, whoops, in the newer version of the software because it, it has a much better color engine and does a much better job of um, processing the file. So um, we have a really magenta, really flat, looking image. So we're just going to grab the endpoints of our levels and see if we can take care of a few things. Not bad. Now, if I go in and choose a neutral point, yeah, there we go. That looks pretty good. And I've also got detail on the sky, which is nice because we lost that when we did our original scan. It's nice to um, do a raw scan because then you can uh, horse around with things a little bit. And it actually looks like it's Fairly sharp, amazingly. Uh, huh. Well, that's kind of nice. I didn't expect that, but that looks pretty cool. We'll keep it. So in the photo here, you can see down the bottom, we've got some nice lens flare. We've got some nice mushiness in the corners, although the center seems to be fairly sharp. And uh, I think this is pretty much ready to, uh, ready to go to, uh, let's see here, I'll save it. Ready to go to Facebook. Or, of course, you could um, just have taken a photograph with your iPhone and although it isn't quite the same, it's alarming, <laughs> actually, how close it is. Let's see here. There we go, side by side. I'm not sure which one I like better. So what did we do to get the shot? We uh, had to find a roll of film. We had to uh, <laughs> put it in the camera, shim the film up so that it wouldn't... Um, uh, unspool, and uh, you only get 12 photos per roll, so we had to make sure that we got exactly the right photo. When we shot it, I had to have the film processed, uh, which took a day, and then I scanned it in um, the contact sheet, uh, the film, to make a contact sheet so I could see what it was that I wanted to scan. Then I had to scan the actual image in, in one piece of software, change to a second piece of software to process the file into Photoshop, a third piece of software to uh, do the final tweaks, and here we have it. Um, the whole reason why I got the the app in the beginning, in the first place, was because I I love the filters, and it was a whole lot easier doing this and pushing a button than it was doing this and processing and scanning.